Now, I do, I want to ask you, if you don't mind staying here for this, this is the dramatic surprise I've alluded to all evening. This is why I came. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's been all over town. Now. A man who is easily pleased. Well, anyway, if I don't get to say thank you for being here later, thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, Calvin Trillin, ladies and gentlemen. Now then, you know, uh, we at Late Night like to provide a showcase for new and innovative forms of entertainment. Now, with that in mind, we're proud to present Larry Bud Melman and his son, Troy Chipper Melman, with, with a dramatic reading of the epic poem, Song of Hiawatha. Hello. I'm Larry Bud Melman, president of Melman Productions. This is a fun little act that my son Troy Chipper Melman and I like to perform at father and son dinners and other places and dinners. Watch for it at the Melman Dinner Theaters, which are opening up at a Melman Bus Omni Center near you. <laughs> and now we would like to perform a very dramatic reading of the epic poem, The Song of Hiawatha, by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. By the shores of Gichigumi, by the shining big sea water, sat the little Hiawatha, heard the whispering of the pine trees, heard the lapping of the waters. All alone walked Hiawatha, proudly with his bow and arrows, and the birds sang round him or him. Don't shoot us, Hiawatha. Sprang the squirrel, Agi Domo, hopped and chatted from the oak tree. <coughs> Don't show me, Hiawatha. And the rabbit from his pathway, saying to the little hunter, Don't show me, Hiawatha. Hiawatha aimed an arrow. But the wary roebuck started. <coughs> Stamped with all his hooks together. <laughs> Leaped as if to meet the arrow. Ah, the singing fatal arrow. Like a wasp, it buzzed and stung him. <laughs> Dead he lay there in the forest. <laughs> but the heart of Hiawatha throbbed and shouted and exulted. Yippee! <laughs> As he bore the red deer homeward, all the village came and feasted. <laughs> all the guests praised Hiawatha. Call him Strongheart, Songi Taha, call him Loonheart, Mongo Taisi. <laughs> What do you think? That was certainly magic for me. Uh, we'll be right back after this commercial announcement, announcement with Karen Black. We're done. Uh, I want to thank everybody who was here. Now, tomorrow night, Dr. Ruth Westheimer and Rick James will be here. Have a good night. Thank you, folks. Goodbye. For a transcript of tonight's dramatic reading, Hiawatha, by Larry Budd and Troy Chipper Melman, send $155.50 to Culture, care of Omni Center, 1256th Avenue, New York, New York, 10020, room 1410W.